Hello once again programmers, this is 19 Cups of Java bringing you the next uh, Java game tutorial videos. Um, I think we're up to like six. Um, last time I left you off with the ball bouncing around on the screen. Um, nothing's changed but I did add two more classes and through the next two to three videos we're going to work, be working in the tri transparency ball in the fade ball class. Um, I did want to show you the the how the ball looks when these two are completed, but la I try to upload this video before and actually no, when I was making the video, it kind of didn't save and I had to do the vid this video all over again. So, um let's just get working into the fade ball class. I might as well leave that there. I should have deleted that before this, I started this video. But um, basically we're making the fade ball class because we want to make a trail of the ball moving. So we're going to need an X value and a Y value. And we're also going to need a color. So let's just make those real quick. X, Y, and TV, and I'll explain TV in just a second. Private color ball color. And if you get the chance, pause this video and like copy this down and then copy this down because you're going to need this one the next video. So, ball color. Um, I wanted to explain ball color real quick. Um, ball color. For the last few episodes, I've been doing color dot and choosing all these different colors. Well, this is not good enough for what we're doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to say new color. And then we type in the values of RGB. And if you don't know what RGB is, it's red value, um, G, G, which stands for green value, and then B for blue value. And then what I found out when I was browsing the internet is you can put a fourth value in there and that's what this is transparency value which they call it alpha value and uh, 255 means you can see the color fully is the highest value you could put in there and then when it gets to zero you can't see the color at all so that's why we're gonna need TV so first off, we're going to just set our values. So this dot x equals 0, or no, x. And then this dot y equals y. And then ball color equals new color. And I looked up the color we, uh, we're going to use, which is going to be 96, 96. And 96 and that's going to be like a darkish gray color and then we're just going to type in TV which we got to set TV first so hold on TV equals 255 for the highest value in alpha or transparency so you can see it and we're gonna have we're, we're gonna need one more which is area and it's going to equal the same size as our regular ball which is 20 I'm pretty sure 20 and uh, that's it um, then fade this method is going to be used to decrement the value of TV by 21 so every time we call this method it's gonna decrease in you know transparency so you can see it less and that's what's going to give us the effect of it go, you know, fading away. And after this, we're going to need to call the set color method. And the reason why we need to do this is because once we give it a new value, the color is going to be the same. So we're going to need to set the color again. And just to finish this method is going to be return TV. Um, all right, so let's make that method real quick. Public void set color. And then it's going to be ball color 
equals new color then 96 96 96 you could make a variable for 96 but it's not going to change so that's why I just type it three times um uh, all right, so now we're going to put in TV, the new TV. So once it fades, like fades the color and makes it smaller, we're going to set the new color. And then when we go over here, we're setting the new color of gray plus the new transparency value. And then down here to finish this off, we're going to do G.setColor, which is the ball color. And then G dot fill oval. And it's going to be X, Y, area, area. Oh, and it didn't even do it. Sorry about, sorry about that. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I just wanted to make this class. I was actually doing the trail a different way using just ball and try transparency ball but I feel like this way is going to be a lot easier because when we actually get into the game we're only going to be checking for the original ball not the fade balls we're going to make a list in here of fade balls so it's only going to be checking the the regular ball um so that's it um, I hope you learned something. Please subscribe, like, comment on my videos, even share if you want. Um, next video, we're going to get into Try Transparency Ball class. Um, so, till next time, programmers, this has been 19 Cups of Java. See you then.